Yo everyone, Skeptic here. Today, we're back with some more We Should Talk. And without further ado, let's keep going with the playthrough here. So last time we left off, we finished talking to Dante, who was basically the person that our main protagonist used to be in a relationship with. Basically, their ex. I don't know why I complicated the explanation, but anyways. Cutie, I'm bored. What are you doing? Uh, talking to, ch drinking with, chilling with, an old friend, Dante, my ex. Uh, I would say... Talking to an old friend. Seems pretty safe. Oh, that's cool. Anyway. I had a really rough time at work today. Can I tell you about it? I'm sorry. Hmm. Uh, I would say, of course. We should. You can. Let's. I'm gonna say, of course you can, talk now, text about it, discuss it later, table it for now though. I mean, we're not really doing anything anyways, so I would say we can talk about it now. Yeah. I want to be more upfront here. Thanks. Honestly, it helps just knowing you'll listen. I don't care about your work. Whoa, okay. That's a little bit aggressive. Tell me about what's going on with your work, the school, your students. Hmm. I would say, I'll, I'll be pretty direct about it. I would say what's going on with your work. Two of my students got into a huge fight, and it just made me feel like such a bad teacher. Like, is that the classroom culture that I created? Was this my fault? Sometimes, I just wonder if all this struggle is worth it. Whoa, okay. Those are some thoughts I have too. I'm like, man, I do wonder, is the struggle worth it? Um... I don't want to say you shouldn't. That's not my place to say what you should or should not do. I think sometimes you... It's not your job to act like, feel like, react like. It's your fault. The victim. Oh, the victim. You're in charge. It's not your job to react like you can't handle it. Um... You shouldn't react like they're... Whoa, okay. Ah, oh, this is... A weird res... I don't know what response to do. I'm kind of stun-locked right now. It's not your job to feel like the victim? This is so weird. Um... I think sometimes you act like... Man, some of- I don't know about any of these responses. Uh, I would say... I think sometimes you feel like it's your fault. Lol, what the fuck kind of advice is that? Hey, you're too hot to handle, right? It's me, Daddy Baycare. You can call me Jimmy. What? What is going on here? All I said was, I think... I think sometimes you put too much blame on yourself. I don't think that's bad advice. I'm just saying that sometimes there are things that you really can't control. I don't know how that's bad advice. It's like sometimes it is what it is. That's life. You can't control everything that happens. Sometimes it's out of your control and 
in this specific situation here, I felt like that was the most decent reply. But I guess not. I don't know. Maybe I am wrong. Uh, I think you've got the wrong person. I'm not interested. You got stood up. Um, depends on who you ask. Not in this lifetime. Whoa, that's pretty direct. Well, I, I, it's a little bit more than direct, I should say. Uh, I would say... Sorry, Jimmy. But I'm sure, but I think, looks like. But I think you've got the wrong person. I still swipe right on you, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, it's not really inappropriate. I just think it's weird. You're, you're weird. It's not really, uh, man. Some of these responses are kind of, excuse me, ha. Huh? I'm just gonna say, excuse me, that's weird. I don't think it's that weird. I don't think so either, but that's the response that I, that that's all I could do. That's the combination that I can choose. I think you should leave. Whoa, oh, that's so aggressive. I don't, I don't, I would, I don't think I would ever go with this response because that is kind of unrealistic in a way. Like if he said something actually like inappropriate, then okay, sure. Maybe it would warrant this response. I think I should leave. You're crossing the line. That sounds interesting. That's cute. Um, let's go with... I think I should leave. Or, uh, I should leave. We're leaving together already? I'm better at this than I thought. Jeez, guy. Okay. L okay. Looks like he's not understanding the situation here. So I'm gonna be upfront and direct here. Listen. Uh, fuck off is a... Ugh. I don't want to tell him to leave. Fuck off seems a little bit aggressive. I'm just gonna say you're not funny. That's it. I just want to end the conversation. Why am I even talking to you then? You've just been wasting my time. Bye. Do you ever spend time with strangers when you're out at the bar? No, I don't. That's a blatant lie. I sometimes chat with folks. I would say... I sometimes chat with folks. Talk to people. Drink with strangers. Chat with... What's the difference between chat with folks and drink with... Uh, not drink with strangers. Talk to people. Folks, I'm assuming, means like your friends. Kind of, right? And people, it's just whoever. I would say I sometimes chat with folks. Sounds fun. Do people ever try to hit on you? It literally just happened. Uh, I would say... Sometimes I deal with attention, creeps, flirty people. You know, I'm gonna put this in a more realistic point of view here. Because in a bar, you know, there's a lot of interesting people. And I'm going to be a little bit direct here. I'm going to say there's just some weirdos. That's it. Well, not really weirdos. I mean, I mean, some of them can be weird. And some of them are just shooting their shot. So I don't want to be putting those two categories into one. Because that is, that, that's not fair for everyone. I don't want to put them in one, one category. So I'm going to say sometimes 
I deal with flirty people. How about that? Boy, that's weird. How do you deal with it? Shoo them away, ignore it, flirt back. Well, we, we couldn't really ignore it. Jimmy was talking to us this whole time and we, we tried our best. I always ignore it. Yeah, that's probably the safest approach. Be safe out there. Seriously. I was just thinking about how you're at the bar a lot. Do you feel like it's healthy? Unwinding like this is important to me. Total, it's Okay, totally harmless. It depends on the atmosphere of the bar and the people running it and the people who also come into it as well. So I wouldn't really say totally harmless. Not the best sometimes, important to me. Oh, so we only have three choices, right? Not the best, important, and harmless. Healthy is a weird way to put it, but it's not the best. Huh. Yeah, I would say healthy it's not exactly weird because if you're at a bar most likely you're gonna drink so it does make sense so i think the most logical answer is unwinding like this is important to me really i get it's important to unwind but just sort of wonder about how multiple times a week you just like being around all the drunk cuties while I'm home alone. Uh, you shouldn't be worried about obsessing over thinking about my nights out, what I'm doing, cuties. Are you always obsessing over? I'm okay, so I don't want to spin the narrative to be about me here. You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be is kind of... Direct and negative tone or connotation. So... I don't want to put blame, basically. I think the... The nicest answer we can put is, Are you always worried about my nights out? Or, you know, do, should I be direct here? Let's make it interesting. Yeah, let, let's let's be a little bit more direct here. Are you always worried about cuties? It's not even really about that. I'm really just scared that you're out there dreading having to come back to me at night. I just don't want to be left behind, you know? I wish you'd have faith in me, trust me, let go. Yourself, us, yourself. You have to, you should just. Um, I would say, I'll be more suggestive here. I wish you'd... I'm gonna be honest. I wish you'd trust me. I wanna be as direct as possible. I do. My confidence is something I continuously have to work on. Anxiety can be a real turd though. I can agree to that. I can agree to that. As a person with, like, low self-esteem, basically my whole life, I, uh, I can agree. Anxiety can be a, a tough thing to deal with. Well, not really anxiety, but, like, just self-confidence overall. Whatever, so let. Try not to let. Don't let. Uh, try not to let. Turd. Control you, come between us, hurt you. Yeah, try not to let that mindset control you. Yeah, I know.
When I have concerns like this, it's easier for me to text than it is to say out loud. Speaking of which, I know we've been texting more tonight than usual. I just want to know if we're doing alright. I want to talk. I want to deal with this, get some things out in the air. Maybe we should get some things out. You know what? Sure, why not? I want to talk. Yeah. Yeah, we should talk. Have you thought about... I want to know... Okay, since I'm the one that proposed for us to talk... I'm gonna be a little bit more... Normally, I wouldn't be as direct, but I think in this specific case, I think this is the perfect time to lay everything on the table. I want to know what we need to do to keep going forward, where we're going right now, how the relationship is doing. Yeah, I want to know what we need to do to keep going forward. I don't know. With everything that's been going on, uh, you and I have been talking a lot and I've been thinking that. We need to work on a few things. We're kind of a mess and I don't know how to handle it. Today's been a little weird, but overall I'm happy. I don't know what it is, but our relationship is missing something. I don't think you can give me what I want. Wow, that is just straight up. You're done. We're, we're done here. The relationship is over. Deleted. I don't want to pick that one because she seems like a nice person. I, I would say with everything that's been going on, today's been a little weird, but overall I'm happy. Same. Things did seem a little different tonight. Uh, I think we is good, you know, communicating that we both need to work things out instead of just putting blame on either me or Sam. So I think that's, I think that's a good angle to look at. We just feel off track, need to work a little harder. Don't We just don't try hard enough. Feel off track. Hmm. Need more time. Is it time though? I think it's communication. We just, we just need to communicate better. Okay. You know, you make me really happy. I just felt like telling you that. I just want to tell you, I hope you know, I want you to know. I love you. I'm head over heels for you. You're my person. You mean the world to me. You help me become the best version of myself. I'm glad I get to wake up next to you every day. You're the one for me. You make me happy too. I hope you know is kind of... Eh, it's a meh response. I want you to know. I just want to tell you. I want you to know. If I were going to say this personally. You mean the world to me. For some reason, this line right here, I feel like it's something that I would honestly say. Like, in real, like, if this was a real, real life scenario, I think this is what I would say. I know we aren't always perfect, but I'm confident that with a little help, we're gonna flourish. I can't wait. I love... I want for our relationship to flourish, to grow, and to help us shine bright, blossom. 
I think flourish is a good word here. I want for our relationship to flourish. Because like, I think this relationship is not bad. Like, it seems, you know, we're having a little bit of miscommunication here and there, but overall, it seems like we're doing pretty okay. So I don't really want to change too much. Like, I don't think there's any problems or any roadblocks right now, at least, that I currently see. Let's build toward our future together. Oh, just one? Okay. Together forever, indeed. I love you. I love myself too. Not really. I have self-confidence problems. <laughs> I have self-esteem issues. You and Sam are closer than ever. You acknowledge your commitment and communication issues. And decided the best way to work through your problems was to start going to couples therapy. Wow, we went to couples therapy. Okay. Okay, the game wasn't that bad. If I didn't have to restart the game three times because the game kept crashing on me. And I know this is a short game, but the fact that I had to, there was no save point and I had to replay the game three times because during my last recording, I spent like 30 to 40 minutes recording the game and I didn't know how long it was. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna resume the game. I didn't expect to finish it in this playthrough. So, I'm gonna be real with you guys. That, that shit frustrated me. Every time I had to reload the game, try to do all the dialogue to get back to where I was, I alt tab, tab back into the game, it crashes, rinse and repeat, lower the graphic settings, Rinse and repeat, try again. It was just so frustrating to record and finish this game. But, oh, thank you for playing. You know what? Even with all those technical issues and some, and some features that are missing that I feel should be required for this game, I don't think the game is bad at all. The graphics may be a hit or miss for some people, but the music and the atmosphere is not too bad. Yeah, I think that's the strengths of this game. Is that the music and atmosphere is not bad. Some of the dialogue responses feel like... It feels like they're trying to make you go this one specific way, which I don't know if I necessarily like that. I don't want to be pushed towards one narrative. Like that is kind of, I don't really like that aspect of the game, but it's not bad though. It's definitely not bad. If you guys are looking for a short form narrative game type visual novel, kind of thing. We Should Talk is not a bad, it's not a bad game to play. With that being said, thank you everyone so much for watching the video. If you got this far, I hope everyone here has a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. And until next time. Bye.